Secularism is not only about religious sim uh, symbols. It's a principle that the religion shouldn't intervene in governmental institutions. It, they shouldn't mix. Of course, it has consequences on religious symbols. But at the end of the day, the principle is that there should be no religious uh, teachings uh, and we should follow the program of the Ministry of, Ministry of Education uh, at all times on the basis that the state is not there to take a stance on religion and is not there to indoctrinate children that are not in an age to exercise their free and uh, enlightened consent. So that's the principle. So it's not only about religious science, it's about making sure that the law and instruction is clear that the principle is religion doesn't belong in schools. If you go over the report again of the education ministry, uh, most of the examples are not related to religious behaviors. Um, are you pushing it too hard, the story no, no, on I'm, secularism? I'm, no. And there's a danger, uh, like a danger to do that. I don't see what danger there is to just name the fact that religion is obviously involved in those dynamics. And that those who are from the Maghreb, who opposed the teachers who didn't want to follow the program and the principles of secularism, they are also from the Maghreb. They, they, they just thought and they were right that religion and intimidation don't belong in our schools. But who did we defend and who did we let down? We let down those who were loyal to the law and to the program. And that's really shameful. And I'm not, uh, I don't understand how uh, the government is currently upholding the position of the uh, direct director of the uh, service, scholars, uh, school service. Because somebody really closed their eyes and uh, didn't take the matter uh, seriously. I think the facts are very clear and he doesn't need more facts to say that at least it's substantially connected to religion, given also the fact that the mosque that is presented more like a community center, but the mosque is directly involved in the school. So all these uh, facts are contrary to the program and to the law. So when Bernard Reville says it might have nothing to do with religion, it's about ideology, I'm sorry, he's factually wrong. A and the proof is, the premier, 48 hours later, says the exact opposite of what he said at Tout le monde en What are your expectations from the local government now? Uh, we put forward solutions. Uh, we're open. We should go far enough. What are your expectations from this committee? Uh, just to have a, an open-minded and factual conversation about what's useful and what's not, because. I understand one point that you're making this morning is sometimes when you want to address a situation, uh, you might go overboard by going, going to measures that are actually totally ineffective. And it was a bit the case, not a bit, it was the case with uh, um, Bill 96 on the certain things about sending emails that should be translated at all times. At some point, sometimes you can go wrong on the solutions. That's why I'm talking about looking at best practices abroad, uh, looking at what's been written. I just wanted the topic to be transparent because what I heard Sunday night was not really transparent about what's actually going on. And now I see that once we've made that intervention, the premier changed totally the discourse of the CAQ to uh, get on the same page than we were.